Okay, uh, good morning. So we're up to Simon Ration and Zion Sif Base. We're working through the halachas of Hatzmona. Hatzmona is the prohibition not to insulate food. Uh, the concern is that you might come to, to heat it up. We made a distinction, important distinction between insulating food uh, in, in just a regular way, taking like a towel and wrapping the food in that, um, and that is forbidden on Shabbos. And uh, the second, uh, the contrast is being doing being matmin bedava hamoisif hevel, which is going to to increase the heat, and that's forbidden even on erev Shabbos. Okay, says Mishnah, uh, says the Seif base. Afidu betavshil shenis bashel kartzolche also la hatzmin b'shabbos. You can't do hatzmona even on a food which is nispashal kartzolke. Um, even if it's not going to be moisif hevel, it's not going to add heat. We call makom lost some kelim ala tavshil kadei l'shomrei menach barim, but to put kelim on top of a food to protect it from from mice, a kadei shlo yistanif ba'afruris that it shouldn't get dirty. Sure, that is permitted. Sheinze kamat min lahachem because you're not insulating it to warm. Uh, to warm it up, but you're just protecting it. And you're just putting a cover on top of the top. On modern part, that, that is also okay. But I'm else in Rachel and Gimel. Good. Uh, says the Mishnah Brewers, you've got a new Gimel. Also, the Hatim Bashabas. So we call Makam, but the Evid Shari. We said that if you went and did it, but the Evid, it is okay. Lossum Kalim, Hainu. I feel the Begodim Shema Midnes Achim, Shalakadeir Shalitan. Even if you've got Begodim which are going to maintain the heat that it shouldn't get cold. That's going on the, the, the just putting the you know to protect it from achbarim and things like that. Okay, gimel. Eluheim dvarim hamosifim hevel. So, like I said before, there's a difference between uh, being matmin um, with, with just just insulating it to maintain the heat and being matmin with a dov which is mosif hevel. That's also even on erev Shabbos. So, what are things which are mosif hevel? So here we go. Psoyle shel zesim. It's the, the refuse of olives, a shell shumshumin of sesame, the zevel and manure, the melach and salt, the sid, the chol, limestone and sand. All of those things are mosif hevel. Bein lachim, bein yuveshin, whether they're wet or dry. Uh, however, the teven, the zagin, um, the teven, the zagin, that straw and the zagin, we'll see, is like the, the skins of, of, of grapes and things like that, or moichin, and all types of soft material, which Mishra will explain exactly what that means. Va'asovim and grass, bizman sheshloshen lachim. These three things, i.e. teven v'zagin, moichin, and asovin, these three things, sheshloshen lachin, only, they're only mosif hevel when they are wet. Ve'elus v'ram she'en mosif in hevel, and the following things are not mosif hevel. Ksus, that means like clothes, or peiros and fruit, the kanfe yoyna, dove feathers, oishan notes, or any other type of feathers. On the Oishal Pishton, and, and worn linen uh, fibers, on the Sarishal Haroshin, or carpenter's shavings, Pirish Hakash, Hadak, Hanofel Minoaits, Kashemigarin, Osev Megera, when you, you know, the shavings and the, 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 um, the sawdust of the carpenter. Uh, and therefore, all of those things are uh, not most of Hevel, they don't add heat. And therefore, you can you can do that on erev Shabbos. On Shabbos, you can't be matzim, but on erev Shabbos, that would be okay. It says the Ramah, Yeshayim demutel hatzim b'salom. You're allowed to to do hatzmona with rocks. Afa pishem esif in hevel. The milsa leshkicha lo goes rabbanim because they're they're damaging to the pot, and therefore it's a milsa leshkicha, and therefore lo goes rabbe rabbanim. Okay, it says the Mishnah Bura, sif cotton tesvav. Oishal shumshumin. So shumshumin sesame is going to be something which is moisiv hevel. And that's the problem. Even though doing hatzmona in that with them is is the same. There is a difference. To shumshumin, when it comes to sesame, and all the other items listed in this list, also the problem is put doing hatzmona when you're submerging it into it. But if you do use something which is actually allowed, could go in bekupashat seme, for example, a, 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 a box of wool. You can actually put the box, the the, the kupa on top of it. When it comes to zesim, even just putting you know putting it on top of zesim, it's osa. 
because olive refuse gets very hot, and it will be moisif the heat upwards, and that is a problem um, which is distinct to shumshumin and the other things. The teven and straw, whether this straw is long or short, the zagin upsel yakav yoin and and zagin are the psoilas the like the skins of grapes of the yakav um uh, so we translated moichin as um, um soft material so what does that mean cold of a anything which is a soft material is called moichin could go in semer gefen cotton wool or tlisha semer rach shall behema or the tufts of the animal hairs for gruras begadim beluyim, or if you just take some uh, some of the material away from from soft clothes, that all of these are soft materials and they're not moisif hevel. So again, if it's not moisif hevel, you can't do atzmona on shabbos, but you can do atzmona on erev shabbos in these materials. Okay, sheshloshdan. These last three things we said is only a problem if they're lachin. Choshiv leteven zagin kechado. That's considered like one. Okay, lachin. The lachin yeshbo in hevel harbe yosim yevashim because when they're wet. They are they they generate more heat than if they were dry. It doesn't make a difference why they're wet. They can be moist because they're inherently moist, or because of some other external source. Shne masurim amon kamachrin miskimu the dafke lachin machmas atzman. Others say no that it's dafke if they're inherently internally moist. Shehe machmas mecham moist yosem lachin that they warm more than if it was lachin machmas mashke shenoflu al alehen. Uh, then it's like an external source of uh, liquid. Okay, ksus, vuadzin karim ksosus, so not only clothes, but also um, uh, pillows and duvets and blankets and things like that, vagizay tzemer and cotton wool, or peyros, could go in chitin vakitnia, it's like beans, if you sort of submerge it in that, or isharn or any other feathers, vnokot mitchilat kanfayona, the reason why he says kanfayona at the outset is vuloshen atal, because that's just the loshen of the gemara, mishum to have a uh, that used to be a very common um, material in those days, in the times of the Gemara. And the Oires, uh, the Oires we said um, was uh, worn linen fibers, uh, duck, duck, very thin things, shenarim and apishon that come away from the flax, um, linen. Besloim. But we said you're allowed to do hatzmona in rocks. Why? Haino avonim katanim, little pebbles and stones, shemitzin bohen eish. That you bring out, you can you take two stones and you rub them together to make fire. For Korean Ose Afnej, they're called stone. They're called stone fires. Or Masha Kosa de Loshkicha, and that which he says you can do Hatzmona with Slaim is because it's not Shkicha. Haino da Loshkiach Klal Shiatim Slaim. That you're not going to do Hatzmona in rocks. Mishum Shem and Shabri Makadera because it 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 ruins the Kadera. Oishem Kalklim Hamachel, or it ruins the food. But if it's something which you occasionally do hatzmona with, even though it's not so common, so it's dafka a slow in which you're going to destroy the the pot. of rashal b'tshuva, the marshal writes in the tshuva, afer that means ash, cham which is hot, who davash ain't a moisif hevel, it's something which is not moisif hevel, shvari l'vishari l'tun boy, and in kain muruv begecholim unless there were gecholim, there were actually coals within it. You're allowed to do hatzmona with it. Ve'viu hal yirabah v'tosef for Shabbos v'shakas ari, I think. V'adin b'chol davar sheinu moisif ever l'afilu heim chamim. That would be okay. All right, good. Let's go weiter. Afal pi she'ein toim in dalit. Afal pi she'ein toim in b'shabbos. Afilu b'davar she'ein moisif ever. Even though on Shabbos itself you shouldn't be do hatzmona with the davar she'ein moisif ever. Im toman boim boid yoyim. If you did hatzmona on erev Shabbos. And then it became exposed, like the, 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 sort of the, it unwrapped. on Shabbos, So that's quite a useful thing to know about Hatmana. That if you've um, on erev Shabbos, say for example, you wanted to tell, you don't want to keep the oven on the whole of Shabbos, so you take the pot or the kigel, you know, whatever is wrapped, is there whatever you've got, you take it out of the oven, and you think you want to keep it warm. So I'll put it in a tea cloth in a towel. I'll wrap it up, and that will keep it warm. So he says. Um, and then and then it became it sort of unwrapped a little bit. So then no problem, you can actually put the cover back on on Shabbos. That's what he's saying here in Dalit. 
So no more. Afar pi she ain't time in the Shabbos, even though you shouldn't do at morning on Shabbos. Afir bedavah she ain't most of hevel. Im toman on mebayd yom. If you wrapped it up before Shabbos, v'nis kale and it's unwrapped, it became exposed. Mishachashecha during Shabbos. Mutzel lachzav lachasos. You're allowed to rewrap it. V'chein im rotzel lahosiv alav Shabbos mosiv. And furthermore, if it was wrapped before Shabbos, like it's their towel, and you think, you know what? I'll wrap it in another towel. I'll add layers. That is okay. If you want to empty it out and uh, put something else there, whether the first one is warmer than the second one, that is okay. Even if it was just covered in material, if you're allowed to cover it a second time in, in a heavier cloth, in a big woolen cloak. That is all allowed only if it's the, the item of food is cooked then, but if you add layers of hatmana, if it's not mavushal kol zorcha, that's a problem. Because that will cause it to, to cook, and that's of course a problem. Okay, good. Siv katan chafei. Veniskale meshechashecha, mashe kosav veniskale lav dafka. Do af lechatchile mutlegalis. You're actually allowed to unwrap it, and then do That even if it came sort of unwrapped by itself, that would be okay. But it's dafka when it became unwrapped on Shabbos itself, not before Shabbos. And that's not allowed. And that's not allowed. And certainly if you unwrapped it on Erev Shabbos with the intention to wrap it on Shabbos, then uh, you're allowed, then it's, then it's also to be mechasa on Shabbos. So, you know, for example, um, you know, let's say uh, tonight, you want to take out, Friday, you take out the Kegel before Shabbos, you turn off the oven, and you wrap it in a towel. And then during the Suda you have some Kegel or whatever you're having. And you want to have some later in the evening. So you take it out of the towel, you take some kegel out, and you want to wrap it up again, that's okay. Because even the chatechila, if, if it was wrapped properly before Shabbos, and on Shabbos it became exposed, even if you exposed it yourself, that would be okay to rewrap it. Rewrapping is allowed on Shabbos. Chavvav. See if you need to wait before you rewrap it. No, 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 she, no, you do it straight away. Afilu besodin, rot salome de lo teme de ze eine chashuva hatmona. Even you might say that's not really considered hatmona. She in a mile. Then king because she mechasel of begluflin and b'shabes have to come out with the So if you've got a thinner uh, material and then you've got a heavier material, that's allowed. So we said I might have thought the first one is not considered material even, and therefore this is like hatmona lechatchila. Kamash melon da af sodin mile al kol pon bemixas. No, the first layer that you originally covered it with the or whatever it was. That that would be with sodin. I mean that would be okay to take it out of the sodin and put it in a thicker baguette. Good. Okay. Hey, says the Mishnah Bura. Says the Mechaber. In Pina Hatafshel B'Shabbos Mekaderish Nispashibo Lekader Acheres. So let's say you've got uh, I don't know some tzimus. You've got some uh, chicken, and you take it out of the first pot and you put it in a second kadera. Mutalat mina b'davash ein moisif hevel. In other words, you're allowed to do hatmona in a klisheni. You've transferred it from the first pot into a second pot. You are allowed now. To be matzmin, to wrap it in something which is ein emosif hevel. Okay, um, says the Mishnah Bura, Siv Katan Kachavches in Pina. To lay also the kashir bechirishin shnis bashaboy. When is hatzmon a problem? When you're wrapping the the initial thing, the 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 kashirishin, the the pot in which the food cooked. Avul kashir pinahu lekiacher. But when you switch it to a second pot, av shaday and hayatzel leders boy, muta. Even though it's still very hot and it's hayatzel leders boy. It's mutter. Even if you pour it back into the klirishon, shahoyabai nami shari the sula mikri klirishon because once you pour it out of the klirishon into a second clean, you pour it back in, that's no longer klirishon. Okay, so you know the useful um, hack. And even in a clearition where it's no longer, it's cooled down, it's no longer you're allowed to, to insulate it, to maintain the warmth if it's, if it's actually cooled down, even if it's in a clearition. Uh, once you've transferred it to you're allowed to do that. 
the Eze Siv. It doesn't make a difference if you had intention or, you know, either way you're allowed to. But Dova Sheina, but Dova HaMoyisif Hevel, because if it's a Dova HaMoyisif Hevel, I feel it's Seinin Gomor Osa Vuchel Dekame. Even if it's stone cold, it's totally cold, if it's a Dova HaMoyisif Hevel, that would always be Osa. Okay, Vov. Mutzel HaHatmin B'Shabbos, Dova Tseinin, but Dova Sheina Moisif Hevel, Kedei Shleit San B'Yosef. To take away the cool. But in something which you're going to add to it, I feel the gomer, I feel nami also. So, for example, let's say you've got a cold uh, bottle of Coke and you want to keep it cold. If you leave it out, and you know, tomorrow's going to be, well, today's a hot day, and you want to, if you leave it out on the, sh- on the counter, it will just it will come room temperature. You want it cold. So, you've got a good idea to maintain the cold, you wrap it in a, a towel or something. So, that, um, that would be okay. So that's what the Mechab is saying. Mutal hatim b'shabbos davet soinein in a dov she in a mosif hevel. You're not increasing the heat. Kadesh le itstanim b'yesa or kadesh le tafik zinasei. So it shouldn't. Uh, I feel uh, okay. That my example was not quite what he's saying. I don't understand. There's no what's the tafshel. There's no tafshel situation. That's uh, the measure because the concern is true. Okay, but I I gave about it. But you might might end up heating it and cooking it. Let's do the bro. In mutal hatim vafilu. Adam Chashev Shari. I will do that in a second. Dovet Soinin could go in Mayim. A Tav Shel Tachas Akarim Mechsosos. For example, water. So the concern is that even even though it's water, you know the, the concern is you might come to heat it up. It's still the same. The underlying concern of Atmona is always there. You want it to be cold. Yeah. You, I, I my example was misleading. I'm sorry. It was I I wanted. I, I should have just stuck to the example of the Mechaba. The Mechaba says Mutal Hatim Mechabas Dovet Soinin. Bedova she'ena mosef havel kadeshele standing biyose. The not it shouldn't get colder. So let's say okay, picture. Okay, I, I'm pictured a hot day, and I was talking about coke. Well, like okay, a bad example, right? Let's say you're a cold Polish winter, and you've got something, but you don't want it to be cold to get colder. So you've got cold cut meats, for example, and it's so cold that actually this is going to get colder. So you say I've got a good idea. I'll take a towel and I'll wrap it in that so that it shouldn't get colder. It's is actually, uh, that's actually mutter. Yeah. Maintain the coolness. Uh, not, not, they shouldn't get, coolness. exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's do Zion. We've got, uh, yeah, we can do Zion quickly. Call Heichet Asrin Hatzmona. Whenever Hatzmona is also, I feel the Kaderim of Rochelle is called Tzorach Asrinan. Whenever they ask Hatzmona to insulate on Shabbos, uh, or even to maintain the heat, even if it's with Rochelle is called Tzorach Asrinan, even if it's going to get worse, the chenik and that is a halacha. The yesh mekinu va'imrim to koshel chai. Whenever it's raw, the gamra in a special kol tzorche mutzah b'hatzmona. Kamo b'shir like with shihia, if it's in a special kol tzorche, there's no problem. Or kamo b'shir is ba'alel sim reishon gimel. Of a makim shenagul lahakel al pis farzu ein limches biyadam. You don't have to protest. Avl ein din hakein b'sham mekaymes. But we say not. Okay, good. Says the mishnah brura sif katan lamed gimel kol tzorche. We said when it came to Shehir that it was Mavushal Kal Tzorchei that everyone agrees it's okay. Because the Stam Hatzmona is really for tomorrow. The Stam Hatzmona is really for tomorrow. And you're going to need more stoking that the, the pot won't get cold. And therefore we're always choshish for chitu. If you if you uh, do hatzmona, you insulate it in, in ash and things like that. Anything which is most of heaven. Even if you're maintaining the heat for tonight, for Friday night, and even if it's mevushal kol tzorcha, there's a problem. The stam shehia who rak l'tzorcha laila shayim menichem megula. The Imlayi Scarab is Manmut, and it's not going to get cold in such a small period of time. And therefore, there's no concern if it's Mavushu Kal Tsarkai. Lama Dalit, Vafim is Tamik Vrala, even if it gets worse. Or Badiavid Muta, Lukula Alma, the Mistamik Vrala, the Chanal Basif Aleph. The Yesh Mekilim, Koyat Mona, Badova Mosif Heaven by Join. That is referring to Hats Mona, with Dova Mosif Heaven by Join. Avala Hatsmin Bashabas Badova Sha'ina Mosif Heaven. To do hatzmona on Shabbos with something which is not mosef hevel, I feel like mivushal katzorchem is something raloi. Also the kula alma, I cannot do that if it's uh, I can't do the hatzmona on Shabbos itself. Legamrei svirlu kimen shochai because this opinion says that since the thing is raw, I feel like my yad matzmin beremetz even if you do matzmin beremetz with these uh, um, uh, 
ash and things like that. No, you will like the hachitul l'tzerek halad. He's not gonna. He's not gonna cook by stoking it for tonight. For ad lemacha belav hachitul is bashal, and therefore just leaving it in the mail until tomorrow uh, without hachitul is gonna cook. And therefore we're not particularly worried. Uh, okay, Beseda, we'll leave it there.